we have finally reached the point where Democrats and left-wingers and the Corona Bros are finally running scared and they are having to all acknowledge that their lies about masks and social distancing and all of the lockdowns are dead in the water that the vast majority, I believe, of the American public is now aware that their science arguments were all lies and you are seeing them run for the hills. I'm going to tell you why there have to be severe consequences for all of these people who lied to you and got everything wrong over the last couple of years but we begin with the data today. California, Washington, and Oregon are all ending their school mask mandates. New York is poised to do so in the city, New York City, on March the 7th. The state of New York will end its school mask mandate on Wednesday. Virtually all mask mandates are collapsing. On Friday, the CDC, to the extent you still listen to the CDC at all, has done away with its mask mandate. All of the data has been clear for months and years really that masking did nothing. And all of your kids that had to wear masks, I made my argument back in August at my local school board that there was no data to support kids wearing masks in August. I was right. The data has not changed. If anything, it has only continued to become readily apparent. This is not science. It never was. It's political science. And all of these things, Congress, California, Washington, Oregon, New York State, New York City, all of them ending their mask mandates, they're doing it right in time for Joe Biden to speak at his State of the Union tomorrow. If you don't see that this is blatant politics and that you have been lied to for years about masks and social distancing and COVID vaccine mandates, you are blind or you lack a functional brain. They are removing all the doubt. It is clear as day they were wrong. And that's why when you see Saturday Night Live suddenly making fun of whether you can even have a conversation about masks not working or whether mandates or boosters make sense or people losing their job over it, remember, Saturday Night Live carried the water for those in power. They tried to say that Joe Rogan was taking horse dewormer. They lied, they lied, and they lied as a part of the media apparatus and suddenly they're all going to look around and realize that they were wrong and they're going to try to pretend that all of this never happened. This is, I've been saying it for a long time, the biggest public policy failure of my life and the biggest public policy failure since Vietnam in this country, maybe bigger, and we have to ensure just talked about this with Buck Sexton on the show. I think that every single person in America should be a single issue voter in 2022. And that issue should be this. Did the parties get COVID right? Or did they tell you that your business was non-essential and make you shut down? Did they insist that your restaurant had to have a mask mandate and had to vaccine check everybody unprecedented levels of overreach? Did they try to make you mandate a vaccine on you? The Democrats were all 1 billion percent wrong on COVID. Did they make your kids wear masks for years in school for no reason? You can't just forget about that because that's, make no mistake, what they are trying to do. This is a calculated political operation that they are running. They are going to try to have Joe Biden tomorrow declare victory against COVID. They are going to try to tell you that what they did was necessary and proper. They are lying. And I demand, I demand evisceration 
electorally for every politician that lied to you about whether or not your kids had to wear masks, about whether or not you and your family were mandated to get vaccines to keep your jobs. I want every Democratic politician who tried to argue that you were trying to kill grandma if you ask whether or not shutting down every business made sense. Lockdowns failed. Every response to COVID was wrong. And the Democratic politicians who made this happen have to bear the brunt of all of it. I want electoral evisceration. I want the Democratic Party to be destroyed in 2022. I do. And the reason why is because if you don't have electoral consequences for being wrong about the biggest issue in any of our lives, certainly if you are around my age or younger, then what's the point of democracy at all? If you can dodge responsibility as a politician, your job is judgment. You are paid for your judgment. You are elected for your judgment. If you got all of this wrong on COVID, and they did, and you demonize anybody out there who would dare to talk about the data, the actual science, and point out why all of it was wrong, you have to go. And by the way, where is that charlatan Dr. Fauci? Where is that lying, conniving scoundrel who, I believe, help to ensure that COVID came to exist in the first place by funding gain-of-function research in China and then has spent years lying about what he did. Where is that little smurf? He's not talking to the media suddenly, is he? He's not talking about all the restrictions and the droplets in the air and the diminution of the overall spread. He's vanished because the Biden administration and the Democrats have realized that America finally caught on to what a fraud Fauci is. He's vanished. He's not appearing anywhere. They're not trotting him out anymore. This has all turned on them in a big way. And what they're gambling on with their calculated political science here is they are calculating that people won't remember because... March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Eight months. Eight months effectively till the midterms. They are gambling that all of you are not going to remember that your kids had to wear masks for two years for no reason. That you had to potentially get a vaccine in order to keep your job. They are gambling that you're going to forget. And I'm here to tell you I'm not going to let you forget. We need to extract vengeance. And vengeance comes at the ballot box via evisceration for anyone that supported lockdowns, school masks, or any other vaccine mandate associated with COVID. They need to all be summarily destroyed at the ballot box. I'm going to help make that happen with my audience and I hope all of you are as well.